In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your FreeSky Tyrannus with the X8R receiver for an S bus connection with your DJI NASA. And if you're not familiar with S bus, this is my existing FreeSky receiver and I had seven channels hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these out. And now with the X8R that comes with your Tyrannus, you'll see there's an S bus port. It's here on the bottom. And we'll be running just one servo cable from that S bus port to our NASA and through this we're going to be able to get seven different channels coming out of this one into the NASA. So pretty clean, tidy setup. And the other end of that cable coming out of the X8R, you run to the X2 port on your NASA. So you can tell that we don't have anything for aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, U or X1. We just have the one cable going into X2. So we'll scroll down, I'll create a new model. We'll just leave the default name. We'll go in and we'll begin the bind process. So using, we wanna be in D16 mode. I'll go ahead and start binding. Now with the X8R, I'll go ahead and power it up while I'm pressing the fell safe button. See the fast blinking LED? means that we do have a bind. Now I've exited out of bind mode on the transmitter and let's power it back up and see if we have our green LED. Okay, so our bind is good. And let me just add one word of caution in the setup. Now, I try to always remove my props while doing any configuration or firmware updates and I just highly recommend you do that with the SBUS connection because I did have uh, the motor spin up accidentally and thankfully there are no props on it. Now here is what I consider one of the magic tricks with doing the S-Bus setup. When you go into your mixer you have throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder. Now because you only have one cable and not the ability to switch your servo leads we actually need to change this. This is expecting an aileron so I'm going to go ahead and go to my aileron and just move that it'll pick up the source and then I'm going to go out I want to change this to elevator so I'll change that to elevator and we want throttle next got throttle picked up and lastly rudders already there that's the main thing you need to do for your S bus setup now let's hook our NASA up to the assistant and we'll go ahead and calibrate our transmitter. We're connected to the assistant. You can see I moved my throttle, my rudder, elevator, aileron. All of that looks good. Let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and do the calibration. So I'll go to the basic RC tab where we can do our stick calibration. So another tip with this, I'm gonna go ahead and click start and then as you know, you move your transmitter sticks to all of their endpoints. So I'm doing that now. And when I'm done, I'm going to click finish. And this happened previously. You'll notice that my aileron is pegged all the way to the right. And if I move it just all the way to the left, it only goes to the middle. So it's a little bit offset there. And what I've had to do to overcome that aileron being pegged is close the assistant, power down my NASA power it back up and then open the assistant. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So all I've done is restarted the assistant and rebooted the NASA by disconnecting and reconnecting my LiPo and now you can see that all our sticks behave as expected. That's pretty much it for SBUS. Really easy to set up. Let me share another cool tip that I learned a while back while doing this. So this is my channel 5 and I'm going to set the source to this switch right here on the left. And then I'll go down to channel 6 and go ahead and edit that. And I'll set the source to this slider on the right. And then lastly, let me go down to channel 7. I'll set the source. I'll just add it to this 3 mode switch right here. Hit enter to save that. And we'll exit out. Now let me show you what that does in the assistant. So here is our left slider. And you can see that it's moving the X1 stick monitor and then here is the right slider you see that it's moving X2 and then finally this three-way switch that we configured on channel 7 
controls our flight modes. So the somewhat tricky thing about this S-Bus with the Tyrannus and the NASA, you'll have the AETR channels that you normally have, then your 5, 6, and 7 are your X1, X2, and then your flight modes or your U-port channel. Pretty straightforward to set up, and if you've seen any of my flight mode videos or fail safe or any of that, you'll know that you now have the ability to run all of that through the one cable as well as your IOC with course lock and home lock. So the two tricky things were once again making sure your channel ordering was correct and then the second is once you do that stick calibration just make sure to reboot your NASA as well as the NASA assistant. That can throw you off and lead to a lot of frustration. So I hope this video was useful. Please post any questions or comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching.